Hello friends, uh, this is Esther Vines with my next video. Um, as I promised before, uh, we'll continue talking about spirit. The first the video before this one was uh, we are um, spiritual beings having a human experience. But now I want to go deep into the explanation of being spiritual spiritual beings what is spirit and i'm not talking about ghost or any anything like that it's just spirit the spirit within you within all of us and spirit is is the essence that we have the power that we can find in everything spirit is not physical it's just energy Everything is energy. Energy in its composition and its quality is consciousness. And it's the energy that moves the body and moves the soul. Uh, the spirit is the one that experiences. The spirit is the one that observes, that listens, that feels. Spirit is the mind beyond the, egg, the ego. Uh, looking for your true self, it's what I think we can hear for. Uh, our spirit, it doesn't die, it's eternal. Spirit has no beginning and no end and uh, as this uh, French chemist says uh, Antoine Lavoisier he says energy is not created energy can't be destroyed energy can only change we are eternal beings we when we die we just drop the body and we go back to where we came from which is the energy world <laughs> uh, also Albert Einstein is the one that says everything is energy and energy is all that it is everything is spirit you know the trees has spirit plant has spirit and that spirit is energy that's why they grow so beautifully. That's why they give us fruit, because of that energy, because of that spirit. We can connect to them so easily when we quiet our mind and connect to our hearts. Well, energy is a form with uh, molecules, and molecules has ad atoms, atoms has protons, neutrons, electrons and now we know that very very deep inside an atom there is also a photon which is light and that's what we are light spirit is light because energy can be matter like this hand and also energy can be a wave a vibration and the two things are the same as I said energy it can be shown as a particle as a matter or as a wave and both of them are extremes of the same thing energy and our spirit perceive reality through the senses through seeing, listening, feeling, spirits perceive the world that way. We have to go beyond that in order to connect to our spirit, or better say, to remember that, that we are spirit. Uh, we are what the Native Americans call the Great Spirit, the Buddha, the Saint Spirit, 
light, the center of everything, that's what we are. And uh, through the years, this truth has been hidden from us, making us separate, separate us from, from the Great Spirit, like it's over there or up there. And all the time, it, it has been inside of us. As I told you before, I was raised Catholic. Um, and I, when I was, I think, teenager, adolescent, I really liked to read the Bible. But then when I found all these things, like we were sinners and uh, we were born sinners and we will go to hell, it didn't make any sense because at some point it says, God is love. And I say, how a loving God is going to send me to hell? <laughs> and But now, after many years, I, I went back to reading the Bible. This is the Bible I brought from Chile. And I went back to just reread it. And it's just, I think, the whole through it's probably in the beginning. Genesis. Genesis, Genesis is the first one where it says, And the Spirit of God move over the face of the water. The Spirit of God. God is Spirit. And then, same Genesis, it says in number 26, Then God says, Let's make the man to our image and likeness. And then God created the man to his image. And then he created them. Male and female, God created them. It's right there. But nobody pays much attention to that. We were created to the image of God. That means that we are. We are God. We are the Great Spirit. The Great Spirit is within us. And it has been there all this time. And everything else that has happened to us in this lifetime can be, I don't want to say erased, nothing to erase. You just need to wake up to your true self. That's all. You are not your pain, you are not your sorrows. You know your trauma, your frustration, your anger, your self-worth. You are none of that. That's a creation. And it has taken me so many years to, to get to that point. I'm still working on it. I mean, I don't want to say um, I have the whole truth. No. But I'm being really curious my whole life about why I was born, why I'm here, what I'm doing here, what's the purpose of life. And then I continue reading the Bible and I found Moses in Exodus, Moses, Exodus number 14. And, hold on one second, I need my glasses. And God answers Moses. Oh, because uh, because God has given um, Moses the twelve commandments, I think. And Moses was a little worried and said, "If they ask me who who is sending this, what I'm gonna tell them? Who is the one that is sending this?" Moses asked, and then God says, "Remember the the fire." Okay, so, and God says, I am that I am. And says, you will tell them, you will tell the son of Israel, I am, send me to you. He didn't say, God, send me to you. Or, Yahweh, send me to you or any other name, he says, I am, 
tell them that I am sent you. So just imagine that. Moses went back to his people and said, I am send this to you. When Moses says, I am, he was waking up to his true nature. And that's the word that we need to repeat ourselves all the time. I am. Touch your heart and you say, I am. I am that I am. And just start peeling off like an onion all of the layers of what do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Just let go of all the roles that you are supposed to play, the way you are supposed to behave. Just drop it and just say, I am. And when you say that, when you say, I am, which is not your name, it goes deeper, remember that. You are waking up to your powers, to your own powers. We all, we are powerful beyond limits. And even says that in the Bible. But first we need to get rid of all the fears, all the self-doubt. Oh no, no, this woman is crazy. What's she talking about? Let it go, let it go, let it go. And use the tapping if you have a lot of questions and self-doubt and fear and all that. Just tap it away. I have a video in English how to do the tapping. And I can't remember the number of the video, but I, I post it below here. You will find it. Do the tapping. The tapping is so simple and so powerful. I wouldn't be making this video if it wouldn't be because of the tapping. I would be scared what people going to think about me. Yeah. yeah, so be ready to be fearful. Fearful. And, you know, what did he say? What is the word? Fearless, excuse me. Be very ready to be fearless. Fearless. Rawr. That's who you truly are. And you can start um, practicing doing little things to connect to your spirit at first. You can go slow. You can do simple things like in the morning, just get up and say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being alive, for this beautiful day, for this beautiful opportunity to be here in this amazing world where you are waking up to your true nature, finding how beautiful you are, how beautiful is the earth, and start waking to this great feeling, which is happiness, which is... Um, love at the end so that's one thing the other thing that you can do and i also start doing myself every time i have food in front of me i'm gonna eat i bless my food what you do is just get energy in your hands and you put it on top of your food and you just bless it just say, i bless this food thank you universe great spirit bless this food so it can help me to regrow my cells give me energy and have clear my mind focus and bless me amen or thank you whatever you want to say and then you eat it and then you're gonna feel in your body it feels good when the food is being blessed with love. And the last thing that you can also do is start an, um, an altar, which is you can use a small table or a desk and have a little candle, have some crystals, some, something, some things that are important to you, some pictures. Uh, I have some seashells. I have a uh, Vishnu. I have... Jesus Christ, Buddha, all of them in uh, my altar. 
and I just sit there in front and I meditate and you just can sit down and meditate for five minutes just close your mind you connect to your true self and you just go I am I am you can say that loud at the beginning and then you just can repeat it in your mind and observing about if a foot away from you you focus on this distance more or less I am I am I am and it feels really good it feels really nice and little by little you're gonna start waking up